In this video, I show you how to fix shiny skin using Affinity Photo. If you find this video useful, then please like and subscribe. There may come a time when you've taken a great image, a really nice portrait for instance, but it's spoiled by the fact that it has shiny skin or hot spots. May be caused by flash or harsh sunlight, as is the case somewhat with this image. Now, this is a great image of a very handsome young man, but for my taste, the hot spots on the forehead, nose, and cheeks are slightly letting the image down. But that won't be a problem for us. As with Affinity Photo, there are a few ways of dealing with skin shine. In this video, I'll show you a few of them starting with a method which is very easy and working our way up to something a little more complicated but more effective. Okay, let's get started. First, I'll right click on my layer and select duplicate. Then I'll have a backup for reference. The simplest way to remove skin shine, and it's very simple, is just to paint it out. Let's take a closer look, then select our paintbrush tool, make the brush a little larger, so we can do nice bold sweeps, especially over this forehead. Then with an opacity of around 20, flow of 100, and hardness of zero, so we have a really nice soft brush, we are ready to paint. But first we need a color to paint over the shine. A color that would be in this area. The color should be similar to the color of the skin just here. Now with Affinity Photo, it's very easy to select this color, to set our paintbrush to this color. With our brush over the skin here, we just press Alt and left mouse. Then our brush is loaded with the color underneath the cursor. As we can see here, with Alt and left mouse, I now have the skin color on my paintbrush. And now if I just sweep over with my brush a few times, each sweep will darken the shine a little until eventually the shine is virtually gone. Smaller brush for the nose, then Alt left to pick a new color for the cheek, as it's slightly more red than the forehead, then paint the shine away again. And I think that looks pretty good. Now exactly the same for the second cheek, and in a couple of seconds the shine is gone. And this spot on the chin, again, picking a new colour, away it goes. And even on the lips, pick colour and wipe away. Goodbye shine. It really only takes a second. Let's take a look. And we've completely removed the shine. In fact, I think we've slightly overdone it. It's looking a little flat, but that's okay. We just reduce the opacity of the layer until we have the effect at the level that we like. Really easy. Okay, I think that's about right for this image. It looks pretty natural. Let's turn the layer off to view the original and then turn it back on to view our work. As you can see, we've done a great job fixing the shiny skin. But there is a problem. If we take a look up here at the hairline, by using the paintbrush, we've introduced haze here at the hairline. We've introduced some blurry brown fog into the hair. And this is because we're painting over everything with the paintbrush, including the hair. This wouldn't be a problem if the patch was isolated, or you could be super careful where you paint, I suppose. Now, there is a way to stop this happening. I'll just delete this layer. Again, duplicate the original layer for backup. I used Control J this time rather than right mouse. This time we'll do something very similar, but with one important difference. Still using our paintbrush with the previous settings, I'll just give myself a larger brush, square bracket keys. We make just one change, and that change is to change the blend mode. So up on our control panel here, select blend mode, and pick darker color. As before, alt and left click to select the skin color, the color we wish to transform the shine into, and then paint out the shine. Multiple strokes until you have the effect you require. I'll use the selected color, the same selected color for the forehead and the nose. And then as I did last time, 
select near the cheeks to fill in the cheeks. A little more on the nose, just at the tip. The cheeks are looking pretty shine free now, so let's just select and paint the shine out of the chin. And again, the lip. And that looks pretty good. Let's take a look. There we go, completely shine free. But as before, it's looking a little too flat. You need a little shine on the face, just a little bit to add shape. Just reduce the layer opacity. I think that's fine, so before and after. That's a great job of eliminating shine. The difference this time is that because we've used the darker colour blend mode on the brush, and the darker colour blend mode will cause the brush to only paint on lighter colours than itself, the selected colour. In this case, because we selected the colour of the skin here, which is darker than the shine, and it will only paint on colours lighter than itself, then it only paints out the shine, whilst leaving any colours darker than the current brush colour alone. So the hairline here, if we just do a quick comparison, has no glow. It didn't paint onto the dark colours of the hair or the eyebrows. Let's take another look. Yep, the eyebrows and all of the darker colours, the creases, etc., have been left alone. A much more natural look. The only problem with painting, even using the darker colour blend mode, is that eventually, if you keep painting into the same area, I'll just paint a load of strokes on here just to give you an example, is that eventually we could paint out the skin texture. It's just flat. Over here we have texture, and over here, none. We've just painted all of the texture away. But luckily, in Affinity Photo, we have a method for avoiding this problem too. The magic method that we can employ, the one I like to use when I want the very, very best results, is frequency separation. Okay, let's delete this. Then duplicate our original layer again so that we can try it out. With our layer selected, go to Filters and Frequency Separation. Frequency Separation is an absolutely excellent tool which separates the detail from the colour into two layers which you can then edit separately. All you have to do is set the radius. As I increase the radius here, more detail will appear in this panel and less here, removing the detail from here and adding it here. OK, I think that looks OK. We have enough detail. Apply. When it's finished calculating, we have a low frequency layer and a high frequency layer. And if I just turn off the high frequency layer, as you can see, we're left with the low frequency, the colour underneath. The low frequency is the image with the detail removed and the high frequency is the detail. And it's the detail that we wish to retain. All we have to do to retain the detail is to perform the darkening of the highlight, the shine, on the low frequency layer, preserving the detail in the high frequency layer. OK, with the low frequency layer selected, in fact, just for reference, I'll duplicate the low frequency layer and then make sure my paintbrush is still selected. All of the same settings, including the darker colour blend mode, then Alt and left click to select the skin colour that I would like. Bigger brush, and then let's paint away on our low frequency layer only. Painting over the skin, multiple strokes, and over the nose. Lovely. Then cheek number one, and that looks good, and cheek number two. Okay, I think that looks pretty good, so down to the chin area. Then a small brush for the lips, like so. Remember, I'm selecting a colour, Alt left click, every time I go to a different coloured area. And I think we're done. Let's take a look. This is the low frequency layer that we've actually been painting on, and this is the original low frequency layer. So if we toggle the one we've been painting on off and on, we can see the difference. Like so. We very nicely tackled the shiny skin. Let's lower the opacity to reduce the effect a little, make it look more natural. Shiny, not shiny. 
Now if I put the opacity back to max, I can quickly show you that if we keep painting on the low frequency layer, it doesn't matter how many strokes of paint I apply, it still retains the detail. Because the detail is preserved in this high frequency layer. I'll just control and Z to remove all of this, put it back. So we can take a look, and I think that looks very nice indeed. No more shiny skin. Thank you.